but certainly the emergency closet poop was probably the craziest. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in from a repeat offender, Lisette Wood. No S on the end of that. Lisette Wood. Lisette Wood is looking for some sauce queen. Shout out to Kristen. Sauce queen style nachos. So I did a little research on Sauce Queen's page. I saw what she kind of usually has for her nachos and I think I'm sniffing up the right trail here. I think I have mostly everything she does with a little couple extras, my twist, my take on it. Shout out to QT Quan Tran for that little statement right there, but you know what I mean. We're, uh, we're looking for a nice big dirty pile of nachos and I myself am looking forward to this and I got some funny questions to answer while we eat it, so less a get a two a chef in. All right, first things first, I got this pizza tray all tinfoil hatted out here with some weird uh, configurations to try and build myself a nice nacho thing that won't slide around and be too crazy. But let's go ahead and pour these large round tortilla in here. Still got some left in the bag, but I kind of want to layer this a little bit. So I just want cheese down in the bottom. Next layer plier. Okay, popping this in the oven at like 350 just to melt it out for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Just get it nice and cheesy melted. All right, 10 minutes later, we got our nice cheesy melty layer of the actual nacho cheese. Now we got to go ahead and dress these things up. I have all these toppings basically microwaved at a not a super hot to where like it's gonna make everything soggy i'm kind of just lukewarm in the whole thing a little bit not lukewarm a little hotter than lukewarm but you know what i mean anyways i've noticed that sauce queen loves chili on her chos so we have a can of canadian the most canadian chili you could ever get timmy hose tim hortons but I do understand that it's now in America too. So boom, we're gonna chili that. Next, we gotta bring in some liquid cheese as well, liquid cheese drizzle. Don't wanna go overboard on this, but we definitely want some incorporated. I think that's good. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead with corn and black olive sprinkle. I think Kristen would be into this. I'll have to get the sauce queen a stamp of approval in the comments, hopefully, about this. I'm gonna come in hot with some tomatoes. And I did microwave these for just a little bit, so they're kind of nice and warm. They're not going on cold. Everything here is gonna be nice and warm. Can't do it half ass and make it gross. We gotta have it nice and warm and hot. So some tomatoes. Saucy queen always hitting it with the green onions hard. She loves a lot of green onions from what I could tell. This is my little secret move, but I love pickled shallots. I also just love the color, but I love the vinegar cut coming through all the richness that's in here. All right, next up, heavy sour cream dabs. I'm dabbing everywhere, trying to distribute around the chos. Sauce Queen, from what I can tell, sometimes just shoves it right in the middle. But I want to make this look pretty for my OCD mind. But we got to have lots. Lots of sour cream. Never too much, I feel like. All right, to complement that, we got some guac dabs. Got pre-made guac. Did not have the patience to make my own today. Sorry y'all, definitely gotta have some guac dabs. Also, we got some salsa dabs. A little bit of salsa across the board here. I don't wanna go too crazy. I wanna make it too soggy or anything, but salsa. And last but not least, topping it off with Valentina dabs. There we go, a nice big old platter of nachos, sauce queen style nachos for Lisette Wood and company.
let's get into this and some funny questions all right, yo what is up and what's good with y'all welcome to today's video in front of us you saw it come together we got a big old plate of cho it's gonna be nice and dirty uh probably a long one because chos take a while to go through and just you know they're tedious so with that said i figured i want to keep this video kind of light maybe just kind of fun interesting so i pulled up a questions list it's like 60 something i won't get through the whole thing but it is a list of funny questions that i want to get through while chowing down on these sauce queen style chos for a repeat offender thank you once again for coming in a second time in the request list list set wood i got it right this time so before we do anything more we must pour two guns salute and pour move back the tinfoil hat here bring in the skier super sender balance the nachos with our chest feels very dangerous i've got a doc p here that i had a little glass of while we were cooking so don't judge me i got a little p -p -p parched okay it is what it is sometimes while you're chefing you need a little something to keep you hydrationally less challenged so while that's bubbling i'm scrolling through my laptop over here this is going to be risky with dirty fingers but i'm trying to keep i'll try to keep one or two like fairly not that dirty and uh make sure we can scroll for these questions okay inaugural Ciparino. grandpa's medicine thank you to the doctor for that you off to the side you in a less dangerous spot for not killing my laptop and me getting into a bite of one of these chose right off a rip let's see what we can do here okay it's a heavy load we're breaking down all right nice we got some structural integrity okay there you go that's a pretty legit bite she's gonna be messy this video but that's what it's all about so expect a dirty dirty bed I'm just realizing that my left hand will be the cleaner hand so we're moving the laptop okay first question is cereal soup why or why not i'm gonna go ahead and say yes i think cereal is soup my justifications for that I think it's a liquid with textural things in it eaten via spoon I'm gonna call it a chunky morning gazpacho because it's cold right that's a cold soup cereal is basically gazpacho soup this chili is popping okay What is the sexiest and least sexy name for a woman? Definitely like least sexiest. Gertrude. Gertie. Gross. Anything old school like that? But right off top, just Gertrude. Straight in the ash, dude. Cereal. 
sexy is for a woman. Uh, I've always had a inclination to think like What am I going to pick here? I want to say... Like Victoria. It's kind of hot. It just seems... Like it has sort of like some, some class to it. I've also always really liked Jasmine as a hot girl name. But as I think of it, I'm both picturing girls I've met in my life with both those names that are both have been like sexy, classy and like ratchet <laughs> AF, like Vicky and Jazz. So like long form, cool. Short form, we're kind of hoeing out a little bit. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Vicky and Jazz. What's invisible? but you wish people could see it. It's invisible, but you wish. Ooh, that's a chunk. That's so a chunk. It's invisible, but you wish people could see it. My star power. <laughs> oh. I have no idea. I guess, I don't know, wind, air. That's a weird question. <laughs> What's the weirdest smell you've ever smelled? Funny, I have an answer for this. My buddy back in the day. He was one of the first ones in our friend group to like have his own vehicle. And one night we were out and about. It was in the summertime. I remember so vividly, I had like these awesome new skate shoes on that I loved. And we were outside this bowling alley called Mario's Bowl and it was late at night dark in his car and he kept a dirty car very disorganized and I got in and I stepped on something and all of a sudden there's this foul smell And I, I go to like, go down and deal with it. And it was like his lunch container, but like had been sweating in the summer heat. For like weeks. And I remember it was like this like bolognese sauce. And it was so foul and it was all over my shoes. And we were both like, I'm like, dude, what? And he's like, uh, like, what is that? I'm like, I don't know. What the hell is died in your car? So we like pulled it out, disposed of it. And I like tried to clean my shoes off. But the smell would not come out. So I get home, I like wash them and everything. 
And then I tried to mask the residual with this cologne called Aqua de Gio. And the mixture of the of that smell and the Aqua de Gio going forward. Because it was my only nice pair of shoes and I was a poor teenager. I had to like have this like weird half stinky rotten shoe. And it was 100% the weirdest smell I've ever encountered. It's a hot dog, a sandwich. Why or why not? Man, that's tough. Especially for a guy like me. Like, I love... I'm very passionate about a hot dog. One of my favorite things to probably eat, really. I love hot dogs so much. Um, I'm going to say, like, in theory, yes. It's meat and things between a bun. But, I don't know, it just differentiates itself because of its shapely situation, like... But then again, subs are sandwiches and they're shaped in a hot dog way. So I'm going to have to go ahead and say yes, it's a sandwich. I admit. Okay. What's the best Wi-Fi name you've ever seen? I have no idea, but I know a good one that I, <laughs> that, that I made when I was living at my sister's house for a bit. I, I named it, I got new internet because she has shit internet and I was like, I need to upgrade internet for YouTube. Like I'll pay for it or whatever. And it needed a name and I put it like hostel, like H-O-S-T-E-L, like a hostel because I was staying there like a hostel. <laughs> I named it Hostel Takeover. <laughs> like the pun of a hostile takeover, but I was staying there as a hostel. You get it. What's the most ridiculous fact you know? I'm gonna say 40 hour work weeks and taxes. I feel like I speak for a lot of people on that one. <laughs> I don't know. The most ridiculous fact I know. Mm, maybe that... The fact and the reality that at some point down the line, literally everybody in existence, even this planet, just won't be anymore or something like that, to that effect. That's probably the most ridiculous fact I know. What is something that everyone looks stupid doing? That's difficult. Everyone looks stupid doing. I'm trying to think in my head like of something like a funny motion. Stupid doing. There's probably somebody on the other side of the screen like that has an immediate answer. I have no answer for this. What's something that's like, like a like a task that's just inherently embarrassing or something like that? I don't know if you that necessarily look stupid, but If you give a shit about what society thinks, like buying like toiletries, just like shit paper and like 
pads and stuff. Like, I just feel like there's a, you feel stupid or you feel like we shouldn't feel weird about it because it's completely like we all have to buy that stuff. But I feel like there is some weird social thing about it. What's the funniest joke you know by heart? It's my favorite one. That's, that's my go-to. My grandpa told me it back in the day when I was like 10. Pretty inappropriate for a 10-year-old, but... It's a good zinger. And it goes as such. How did the hillbilly find his sister in the woods? Pretty good. <laughs> uh, nothing like a good incest joke. All right. In 40 years, what will people be nostalgic for? Probably a life where we were still the rulers of our life for the most part because I feel like by then AI, artificial intelligence, will be <laughs> governing some shit and we'll have like, I don't know, a certain level of, of autonomy over shit that it doesn't now and that we will be like man remember when we when we made like all the, de the decisions for ourselves and our lives and tyrannical ai is my best guess not being robo Slaves of computer intelligence, robots, things like, like that. I think by 40 years we should get there. What part of a kid's movie completely scarred you? Well, there's a pun in that, actually, funny enough. Uh, Scar from Lion King and him killing off Mufasa. Basically, like, a dad dying, that's rough. I don't like that. But later on down in the movie, what you never realize, you might have never realized this, but later on, when Scar is in his den, after Mufasa has been dead, uh, got trampled and all that, you never see what happens to his body, but... In his den, he's picking his bone, or picking his teeth with a bone, and you see behind him the skull of a lion. Like the, the skeleton of a lion. So, that's to indicate that Scar cannibalized his own brother. And that shit was disturbing. If you never realize that, go watch it. You'll see it. Or look it up. What kind of secret society would you like to start? Um, probably one that plots and schemes to overthrow all the other bullshit ones that exist, or maybe the main one or whatever. <laughs> And make it so there's actually like even playing field and a fighting chance on this earth of people having like decent lives and not being enslaved in the system that has been designed for us to exist in. Many of us are uh, dependent upon, but we're also like mentally not even able to comprehend that you're even trapped in a system that has been designed for you to be trapped in um 
But then there's some of us who are just like, we realize it, but there's like almost nothing you can do about it. I want to start a movement secretly to like demolish that and come up with some sort of new way forward. Now, I don't know what that is. That's, that's a whole crazy thing to tackle. I don't have the answers and I'm not acting like I do, but for the most part, I feel like we can all agree that the one that we're in ain't it. If animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? Hmm. I want to say I'm going to base their character off of what they look like. And if they look suave and like, you know, like high maintenance prissy type shit. I was going to go somewhere like way crazier in the animal kingdom. But then I realized just, I just realized it's a house cat. Like a, like a, like a prissy, my shit don't stank. Even though it's right there in a box of sand. I could give a fuck less about you and I'll scratch you if you even try to care about me. House cat. I think they would smoke like Cruella de Vil cigarettes and tell you how much you suck at life. They'd be like, you need to lose 15 pounds. Um, you, you, you can't move like me. You can't prance like me. You don't have my, you know, this, that, whatever that is, that like, just that prowess, that skill set, that magnificent movement. They would tell you that you're too like emotionally dependent, that you need to become stronger. And when you go to emotionally eat nachos, they would bat it out of your hand and scratch you and be like, you deserved it. So really just the, uh, a house cat. Would be the rudest, I do believe. This is getting to be a crazy terrain and territory here. Where did all that cheese go that I put on the lower level? Like, I don't get it. Toilet paper over or under? I don't know if they mean hang or like how you wipe. Because there's some people who like go under and like wipe or like there's some weird wiping. Uh, but if it's over or under for the hang, I like it on the backside, like coming like this way, not like hanging like this way, but like this way. So I guess under for me. <laughs> What's the strangest place? You've urinated or defecated. Mm, I don't know if they're strange places, but just like strange situations. I remember one time my roommate was in the shower and I ran into the to the condo to like take like a a rea, right? Like I couldn't wait. It was like a jump in the door and explode. Get in bathroom was occupied there was no more waiting so i grabbed two uh grocery bags double lined went into my closet in my room and just released the like just an uh, insane ria into grocery bags i immediately <laughs> tied it up got paper towel sorry got paper towel wipe <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is food and related, but whatever. Wipe, toss it in the bag, do it up, put it into like a real garbage bag, and then I went and got rid of it in the garbage chute <laughs> immediately. But I couldn't help it. I could not help it. It just, it had to absolutely happen. 
outside of that, taking a pee would probably be like <clears throat> just on like road trips, just having to pee in bottles or something like that, <coughs> like that when you're on the go. I feel like a pee is more manageable, a little less desperate and a little more socially acceptable to do in like weird situations. Also, there's been times with peas where it's like uh, you're like at the bar in like a social event and you're up high somewhere on like a patio and you're like smoking and in order to get to the bathroom it would be like a whole headache so you kind of just like stick it out and like find like a crevice and you just kind of start going like off onto like a roof or down into an alleyway or something. I've, I've done that before. De definitely, admittedly, I've done that when I've been wa wasted. But certainly the, em the emergency closet poop was probably the craziest. What's the best inside joke you've been part of? I have no idea. In one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? Oh, I got a sentence. I was thinking I got a word. Uh, in one sentence, how do I sum up the internet? Um, That's really hard. That's extremely hard. I want to say like, like life changing opportunity education space mixed with chaotic hatred and love accompanied by the ability to waste significant amount of time of your life getting lost in the sauce of it. <laughs> if that's my, that's my one sentence, I think that encapsulates the internet. All right. With that being said about the internet, I think that's where I'm going to end this. Uh, we got through the top layer of all like the good stuff. And as per nachos, even though I decided to like layer it in the bottom it's still i don't know they st I, I dug down to like dry crispies like i i layered tons of cheese down there i don't know where it went like nachos and cheese are like a time warp there's like a bermuda triangle for cheese when it comes to nachos is what i've arrived at in my years on the planet is you can cheese the shit out of nachos and somehow you're still going to end up cheesily disappointed. Like every time. Makes no sense. But anyways, they were delicious until they weren't. <laughs> Seems to be the case with nachos. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed those answers to those questions. Once again, shout out Lisette Wood, shout out Kristen, the sauce queen. And until uh, the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Two guns. Stay true.